everybody, and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw a, a horse's portrait. And uh, before I was starting to draw, I wanted to take a close look at all those muscles and tendons that are in the face of the horse. Now here you can see uh, some sculpture that has been uh, doing some work and you can really really see how many muscles and tendons are in that face and how the head is attached to the neck. Now for this tutorial I want to draw in a kind of a Arabian stallion and his head is pointed forward and you can see that muscle on the neck and uh, all the muscles and tendons on the nose and around the eyes. So with this in my head I already started drawing. I didn't finish this drawing yet. But you can see very nicely how uh, I uh, have taken notice of what lies underneath the skin of the horse. And I also did a quick study of the eye, uh, just in charcoal on cheap paper. And for this tutorial I'm going to use Treadmore pastel paper, which is textured. And of course all the prints and tips and the real-time recordings can be found on my Patreon page. So for your study purposes of course. And what you can see here is that I've taken notice of all the roundings that are in that head. Uh, also there are a lot of bones and structures around the eyes of course and also around the nozzle and what lays beneath is a very important if you want to draw a very convincing horse's portrait. Now here on the left side I did a quick sketch for you already and I'm using a very light blue uh, bustle drawing paper. Uh, you will see why I did it this later on but of course you can also make this study simply by using graphite pencils. Now I'm using my pre-sketch where I've really really studied all those muscles and tendons that are in the face and with this knowledge I'm starting to draw for you this uh, Arabian stallion's face with all those uh, lines that will uh, make that drawing a convincing drawing and you will see me correcting here and there everything um, so you can really see what my thinking process is here I'm drawing in that big muscles that are on top of the head very important too and the nose bridge is really really bony. Now maybe you have um, padded a horse one day and you can feel all those structures and for the eye itself I already draw in the little eyelashes which are very important too when you are drawing a horse's eye. Uh, the eyelashes uh, really uh, take care of that horse's eye that no flies will go in or dust and stuff so don't leave those out and there are a lot of bones also around that eye that I'm trying to draw in here now this tutorial is speeded up so I can explain to you uh, in an easy manner what I'm drawing but of course on my Patreon page all the drawings I make are in real time for your study purposes so should you need it please visit my Patreon page and maybe you want to support me there. Now the attachment of the head towards the neck is also very important and uh, to define this and to bring out that uh, muscle, that big one uh, on the top muscle 
will make the head pop out even better. So I also draw in a little bit of that neck to give the head a, uh, a place on the paper. And I'm using for the setup a charcoal pencil. And that is because it's easily erasable. And I will also be using a blender stick. And you will see that effect. And the blender stick can also be used when you are making this drawing with graphite pencil. Here I'm drawing in the nose a little bit bigger. I think it is a little bit too small. So I simply go around it a little bit more. So that's easily corrected. And um, what I'm also searching for, of course, are those shadows that are in the face. In this drawing, the light will be coming from the left side. And of course, for the inside of the ears, there's a lot of shadow too. So I draw this in too. And I simply uh, place a little bit more pressure in the, uh, the top end of the, the ear, in the deepest point of the ear. And I also draw in uh, some wrinkles that are there. And this is that little dent that is just uh, above the head. And the older the horse gets, the deeper the dent gets on top of that eye. It's just behind that uh, eye bone. And uh, these are the, the, those, those chewing muscles. I also draw those in on the side of the cheek. And uh, the bone on the eye needs a lot of attention. And also those uh, tendons that are around the, the nose entrances are very important indeed. And what I want to do is to draw in as much roundings as possible. And I'm trying to think as a sculpture. So I'm trying to sculpt this head and draw in all those roundings and all those little uh, muscle and tendons that are in there. Here you can see the shadow for the muscles on top of the head. And this is the nose bridge, which is very hard. And you can feel it when you're touching a horse's face. You can just feel that. And this is the roundness of the neck itself. And of course for the inside of the nose I draw in a lot of charcoal. Because that's deep going in there. And I draw in, uh, in the direction of the way that the muscles go. So in this way I get a real nice underlayment for my study. And here I draw in a little bit of the main tip, those hairs that fall over. But I'm not going to get too much into the mane itself. I really, really want to draw the anatomy that I see in that horse's face. For the eye I need the bone to stick out a little bit more so I'm going in there again with the with the charcoal placing a little bit of extra shadow to make that eye pop out and for um, erasing in my drawing I'm using the Koinor uh, pencil eraser which is a very nice uh, very nice material for erasing with a very sharp line. So the Koinor pencil eraser is something that I always have around. Now this is a, a three-quarter uh, side view so you can just see the left side of the head a little bit and I think that's a, a very nice way of drawing portraits instead of uh, right in front or uh, just from the side. 
So,、uh, three quarters is my favorite way for this study, because then you can really, really get started on drawing in the roundness of that head. Here you can see my pencil eraser again. I can draw in,、uh, and I can correct、uh, little tiny spaces. And this is the blender stick. Now on the left side,、uh, you can see the study as I made it. But here on the right side, I will、uh, go in a little bit further because I want to draw in a little bit of shine on that face. So with a blender stick, I can put in some more shadows. And I'm pressing in the pigments of my charcoal, and by leaving out spaces, so I do not、uh, blend those. Immediately, a little bit of shine starts to appear. Now, of course, you can do this with your finger, but it's、uh, not as secure、uh, as a blender stick will be. Also. Uh, your hands always are a little bit greasy. No matter how good you wash them, there's always grease on your fingers. So I prefer for this a blender stick. You can get very sharp,、uh, detailed shadows with it, and、uh, it's kind of a rolled-up paper, and very, very ideal. For、uh, like, for instance, here in the eye, I blur that out a little bit too, to get get that glossy feel. And here you can see the pencil eraser again to draw out some veins, for instance. And it's、uh, very detailed for erasing maybe some、uh, mane or veins. And once you've used that. Uh, blender stick. You can always go back in with the charcoal and with the pencil eraser. Now here I put in a little bit extra shadow so that that head really、uh, pops in、uh, to the front. And here I put in a little bit more light on top of the nose. And you can see now that the light is coming from the left side, so the left side of the face is very much lighter than the right side. Now a next stage can be that you pick up your、uh, white or、uh, very light gray pastel pencil, and with that pastel pencil, you can. Make some more shine up on the horse, but I also use it kind of like a blender stick to rub in the pigments of the charcoal, blending them together, but also to draw out some light and to make that horse a little bit more shiny. Now this will make it even more convincing. A convincing portrait, and I'm still thinking as a sculpture and trying to capture that light, and also a little bit inside the eye to make it、uh, look like it's made of glass, make it extra shiny. So that's very nice to do. And here I've picked up a light pink. Maybe、uh, to draw in a little bit into the face and to the nostril, or you can use some bright coloring for around the head. And you can see it here; it will make it even pop out even better. So it's very, very nice to combine charcoal or even graphite with a little tiny bit of color. To get that convincing feel, and start to study 
and draw in shine up on the coat. Now I will leave it up to you to draw in further. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Also check out my Patreon page for more tips and real-time recordings. And I will see you again next Friday.